For this passage, let's try to do this one the way you might under time pressure in the actual test. So instead of me summarizing everything that I would like to summarize for you about it, let's assume that you're really in a hurry and you just want to start. So you would skin the beginning and just glance at the figure and then start. So the beginning would tell you that there are these salts, solutes, and they get dissolved into a solvent, in this case, water. Now there's a maximum, so we can put in some salts and it just gets dissolved into the water, and then we can add more and it just gets dissolved into the water, but at some point, nothing more gets dissolved, so we add more and it just drops to the bottom. So figure one shows the maximum salts that you can add to 100 grams of water before that limit is reached. And it varies across temperature, so warmer water can dissolve more salt. So if we look, for instance, at figure one and we isolate this particular salt, you can see that at this temperature, there would be more salt in the water than the water could hold, so all this would kind of rain down and just fall to the bottom of the beaker. But if we warm that up and we put the same amount of salt in at the, in the warmer water, we can see that the water can easily handle the salt and dissolve all of it. All right, so let's get started. Number four, according to figure one, which of the following is the best description for the relationship between temperature and the solubility of a salt in most cases? And this one here, B, is the best answer. There's a direct relationship because as the temperature increases, the solubility increases for eight of the nine solutes. You see, we talked about this a little bit before. We have increased temperature, and for all but this one, for these other eight, the trend is that as the temperature goes up, the solubility goes up. The water solution can hold more salt. Now, that means it's a direct relationship. As one goes up, the other goes up. So we can cross out the no relationship, and we can cross out the inverse relationship, and that leaves us with A and B being possibilities. So A says it's a direct relationship. Well, that's true. And then it goes on to say, because as the solubility increases, the temperature increases. Well, that's not true. It's not true that if we add more salt, the temperature goes up. It's true that if we increase the temperature, we can add more salt. So B is a better answer because it says, as the temperature increases, the solubility increases. And generally, if we're going to have one affect the other, we're typically going to be in a situation where a change in the x-axis, say from here to here, results in a change in the y-axis from here to here. Number five, the solubility of which solute is least affected by temperature in figure one. These are the four choices. We can pretty much, as we look across the temperature in the, in the x-axis, we can eliminate two of them because the temperature seems to affect them quite a bit. And so we're left with these two. And in this case, this one over the course of zero to 100 degrees, its solubility only goes up by six grams. So we can only hold six grams more of table salt at 100 degrees Celsius, so basically boiling water, than we can at zero degrees Celsius, basically water that's just about to freeze. So we can hold more salt, but not much more. With this one, this is our, our one outlier, our one salt that actually is inversely related, where a uh, higher temperature actually means a lower solubility. But we see here, it looks like it's pretty flat, certainly from, it has almost no effect from 35 degrees on up, but that's not really what the question asked. And here you see it drops from zero to about 35, it drops by about 14 grams of salt. So this one is six grams of salt, and this one changes by 14 grams. So we're gonna go ahead and make the call that NaCl is the one that's least affected by a change in temperature. Number six, a solution of potassium dichromate is prepared using 10 grams of salt dissolved in 100 grams of water at 50 degrees Celsius. How many more grams of potassium dichromate can be added to the solution before no more can be dissolved? So the question is, we're looking at this particular salt, and at 50 degrees, we're going to go ahead up and add 10 grams of the salt. How many more can we add where everything still gets dissolved? So we can go from here, and we keep going up, 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 to here, and there we hit the solubility. So if we look at the difference here between 10 and 30, we have 20 grams of salt. 